Aspire Women's Health is focusing on women's reproductive health. It has a data-driven approach that delivers solutions that help women take control of their gynecological health and empowers providers as well. And so with me is the CEO, Nicole Samford, and also Ryan Fan, the COO and Chief Scientific Officer. So great to meet you. Great to have you back, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you. So let's just start. Tell me again about Aspire Women's Health and what you're doing. So our company is focused on uh, developing advanced diagnostic tools for uh, gynecologic diseases. Uh, using technology uh, and uh, we've been focused on gynecologic disease since our inception uh, so we have more than two decades of experience in developing blood-based tests for uh, risk assessment uh, we started focused on ovarian cancer which we talked about uh, last time which affects uh, many women has been underinvested in uh, for a long time and is a highly um, deadly disease as a result of a lack of effective um, earlier stage diagnostic tools uh, and we're building out our pipeline to focus on other gynecologic diseases based on the success of that um, commercial product. Yeah, and you were talking about the ovarian cancers, like how it's not detected till very late. Yes, more than uh, more than 60% of women are diagnosed in stage three or stage four, um, and the chances of surviving ovarian cancer at that late stage are 30% are or less, depending on um, the type and the, uh, the stage that it's okay. identified. It's a real unmet need. Absolutely. Clearly. So, um, Ryan, this is your first time joining us. Uh, tell me about what brought you to Aspiral Women's Health. And at the time of my discussion with Aspra, the company was uh, in, in talk with the Harvard Dana Farber Cancer Institute, my former training place. So um, in addition to those technology, the company online most of the diagnostic company at this scale that have a unique qualified clinical staff with a clear certified cap accredited clinical laboratory test setting, very experienced clinical operation team, and with a commercial cell force uh, that most uh, company not existed. Now, we talked, Nicole, last time you were here about ovarian cancer, clearly, mm -hmm. um, but you're also working on um, solutions for endometriosis. That's so right. Explain that. Why is that another area of unmet um, needs for women's health? Sure. Well, endometriosis is a devastating disease. Uh, it affects six million or more women in the United States alone. Uh, it takes a very long time to diagnose, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but in the meantime, women suffer with uh, debil debilitating pain that often interferes with their ability to work, uh, go to school, live their lives. There was a recent study that was published about um, the impact of endometriosis uh, that said that most women that have endometriosis have missed work um, during their, their cycle or have decided to either leave work or school or otherwise check out of their life as a result of the pain. Um, so finding out what you're dealing with for these women is critical. Um, and there is not a, a currently available uh, diagno diagnostic tool. Women who want to be definitively diagnosed have to undergo an invasive uh, laparoscopy. So uh, of course, some women choose to not have that kind of procedure. And other women, it takes them years to even get to the point where someone is willing to um, suggest that procedure. So um, this is a, ma a major unmet need, both for physicians who are trying to help women who are pa experiencing pain uh, and patients who um, really need a better understanding of what's happening with their body. Uh, endometriosis has uh, no known cause or cure. Uh, it happens when um, endometrial tissue that normally uh, uh, lives in your uterus and behaves a certain way during a normal um, healthy menstrual cycle uh, leaves the uterus, continues to behave the same way outside of the uterus, which is very problematic, and that's where the pain comes from. Mm. Um, beyond that, endometriosis is believed to be one of the major causes of infertility, mm. uh, and often women are only diagnosed when they begin infertility treatment and find out they've suffered from this disease for a long time. It's spread throughout their abdominal um, their abdominal area and now has impacted their their ability to have children, which our goal is to take what we've learned yeah. and to apply that uh, to endometriosis so that they can be diagnosed earlier. Be diagnosed earlier and not have to deal with all that pain and perhaps preserve their fertility That's right. as well. That's right, absolutely. want to have children. So Ryan, explain the EndoCheck and the science behind that. Well, EndoCheck is uh, one of its kind. You know, the first non-invasive blood-based assay that available to aid the diagnosis for endometriosis. So with a vast experience of dealing with gynecology disease, particularly including pelvic pain, Aspra utilized the technology that we've been used for ovarian cancer 
testing. Uh, for this assay, we developed and tested over hundreds of samples from women with and without endometriosis. So this technology with the proprietary algorithm, we're going to be able to identify the patient with the symptom of endometriosis for early and accurate diagnosis for the patient. So it's really important because this, uh, there's available medication out there, but there's no true diagnosis that available for patient that candidate for those medications that get an early treatment rather than waiting because there are some studies indicate that wait, women waiting for six to nine years mm -hmm. and some cases it's longer to have an accurate diagnosis. In some instances, a woman found out that they have endometriosis only when they uh, went to treat, uh, get treatment for infertility mm -hmm. because over 50% of women with infertility have endometriosis. Okay, so the EndoCheck gives them an earlier definitive diagnosis. Correct. So they will know earlier and perhaps can prevent a lot of heartache and pain. Ryan, what does this mean for patients? Well, EndoCheck, we believe it will be a life-changing test for patients because there has been uh, no available diagnosis test for patients. Even though there isn't a cure for endometriosis, there's available FDA-approved medication for reduce the endometriosis symptom. That actually better than over-the-counter pain reliever or contraceptive medication, which has been empirically treat the endometriosis patient. This medication, however, require the diagnosis of endometriosis. In fact, insurance company requires the evidence of diagnosis prior to approval coverage for this medication, which is rather expensive. So we believe that endometriosis with endocheck will speed up the process for patients to have early and accurate diagnosis so they can be available for those approved medication. Mm -hmm. So truthfully, you know, endometriosis is a difficult and long um, process for patients to be accurately diagnosed. Endocheck, we believe, will help for this patient that have been waiting for too long uh, to have uh, access to the test that needed for the care that they need the most. Mm -hmm. um, what does this mean for Respira? Well, it's obviously a significant unmet uh, medical need, which for us, um, frankly, uh, a lot of the diseases that impact women um, in the Southern Hemisphere are unmet needs. So uh, we have a lot of work to do, and uh, endometriosis is a really important part of expanding our pipeline. Um, so uh, the opportunity for us is significant. Uh, when you think about the number of women who currently uh, may have endometriosis, that's an immediate need for a diagnostic tool to help them understand if the source of their pain is endometriosis. Uh, so it's a big opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. And just talk to me about the future for Aspira Women's Health. What else are you looking forward to? What are some other goals you have? Yeah, so we have another test that we're launching uh, later this year. Well, it's actually a, a, a new application for our existing Overwatch, which is um, a tool that is uh, used for uh, ovarian cancer initial clinical assessment. So uh, we are hoping to publish new data shortly that will support the use of that test as a serial monitoring tool, which is, uh, which is very significant for women who are uh, diagnosed with anexal masses. Okay, Nicole and Ryan, thank you so much for coming back and explaining this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having us.